Big win for the Memphis Grizzlies on the road tonight. 104 to 101, overcoming a 19-point deficit in a game that they never led until the fourth quarter. Biggest lead was three. And they win it by three as we welcome you to Grizzlies Live post game presented by your Mid South Ford dealers. Rob Fisher, Brevin Knight with you. Pete Pranico will be along momentarily. And Brevin, big deficit. Things weren't looking good early in the se- er, early in this game, but just kept grinding away and kept staying close and and almost played like a, a perfect road game it was, tonight. It, it was a perfect road game. And one thing we always say: if you're gonna get down, get down win. Early. Early. Because you have <laughs> enough time to force a comeback. Yeah. And that's what the Grizzlies did. And I thought the the second quarter was crucial. The guys off the bench came into the basketball game. Jaron Jackson Jr. was still a part of that. He found a little bit of an offensive rhythm. They were able to go into the half only down 10 after being down 19. I thought that was huge for their confidence going into the halftime and they came out after the halftime and they were a different basketball yeah only gave up 43 points in the second half of Grizzlies themselves scored 53 and then in overtime Grizzlies had the momentum and they carried it carried it into the final session and really it was good defense by the Grizzlies in this final session well it was great defense it was also they also forced turnovers in the second half and in the overtime that led to easy scoring opportunities for this Grizzlies team, but it also was physical defense. They cut down on the backdoor cuts that they were allowing early on, and DeAnthony Melton and Kyle Anderson, their defense in the second half, tremendous. That move there by John Moran, a game-winning move by him off of a play where Andrew Wiggins thought that he had him stymied on the defensive side, but the defense by this Grizzlies team in the second half very reminiscent of how the Trailblazers defended this Grizzlies team in the second half of last night's game. Yeah, big win tonight. Pete Pranica, voice of the Grizzlies, joins us uh, as well here on Grizzlies Live Post Game. And uh, Pete, you know, you've asked Taylor Jenkins about the defense a couple of times. Well, the whole Golden State to 101 in overtime. Yes. But then you add the 17 steals, the 23 turnovers that you forced. All the defensive numbers were great. Yeah, they really were because this Grizzlies team in the first four games was only averaging about 12 and a half forced turnovers a game. That's very un-Grizzlies like. And I thought that they they amped up the pressure. And Taylor Jenkins found a combination defensively that worked. And a lot of it was Kyle Anderson and DeAnthony Melton. And we know that they have the ability to put pressure on you defensively. And credit to Taylor Jenkins for finding the right combination and sticking with it. And that's really what got the Grizzlies to win. Didn't see Steven Adams didn't need him because what was working defensively was having Kyle and Melton on the floor. Yeah, and Steven Adams was really good early in the game for the Grizzlies, keeping him in this game early. And then in the third quarter, John Morant, uh, he took over in the third. We talk about double-digit scoring quarters for John Morant. This was one. 18 in that third quarter for Ja. He identified where the areas on the floor where he could be successful, and that was right around 12 to 15 feet. Their bigs continued to lay back on screen and roll situations, and he took advantage, knocking down jumper after jumper. He also was able to get himself out to the break, knock down the three. He had it locked in in that third quarter. Well, Brevin, you made the point at the start of the second half These are the shots that you want him to take in the paint. And in that third quarter, when he had 18 points, he didn't attempt a three. Everything was inside the arc. A lot of it in the paint still among the... He's the only guard who's a top five paint scorer in the NBA coming into tonight's game. Only Anthony Davis averaged more points in the paint than John Moran. Know know what he's become? He's becoming a Tony Parker of today's basketball. If you remember, Tony Parker led the league and points in the paint right. for years at a, as a point guard. And it's all because he could get there, great finisher. That's what John Moran is doing right now.